Buenas tardes. Hoy es martes el 21 de abril. Mañana ustedes van a escuchar este video el miércoles y hayan aprendido de Carmen Lomas Garza. Es la artista que nació en Kingsville, Texas, muy cerca de la frontera de México, very close to the southern border with Mexico. Um, entonces hoy vamos a leer tres de sus cuentos en este libro en mi familia. Um, this is her second book um, of paintings and stories for children. And so I'm going to share with you a couple of stories. I'll read them in English and then in Spanish. So I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see the painting as I read about it. But first I'm going to read the introduction from the author, from the painter. Every time I paint, it serves a purpose to bring about, about pride in our Mexican American culture. When I was growing up, a lot of us were punished for speaking Spanish. We were punished for being who we were, and we were made to feel ashamed of our culture. That was very wrong. My art is a way of healing these wounds, like the savila plant, aloe vera, heals burns and scrapes when applied by a loving parent or grandparent. The paintings and stories in this book are my memories of growing up in Kingsville, Texas, near the border with Mexico. This is my second book of family pictures. Ahora en español. Cada vez que pinto, tengo un propósito, fomentar el orgullo en nuestra cultura mexicoamericana. Cuando era niña, muchos de nosotros nos castigaban por hablar español. Nos castigaban por ser quienes éramos y nos hacían sentir vergüenza por nuestra cultura. Eso era muy malo. Mi arte es una manera de sanar estas heridas, como la planta de sábila, aloe vera, que sana quemadoras y cortados, cortadas cuando nos la unta uno de nuestros queridos padres o abuelos. Las pinturas y los relatos en este libro son mis memorias de cuando era niña en Kingsville, Texas, cerca de la frontera con México. Este es mi segundo libro de cuadros familiares. Carmen Lomas Garza. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you so that I can read the first, um, about the first painting, Cascarones, Easter Eggs. Okay, first in English. This is my parents' dining room. My, mother's and, my mother and brothers and sister and I are gathered around the table decorating eggshells, cascarones, for Easter Sunday. We would fill them with confetti, which we made by cutting up newspapers and magazines. On Easter Sunday after church, we would go swimming. After swimming, we'd eat, and after eating, we'd bring out the cascarones. We would sneak up on our brothers or sisters or friends, break the cascarones on their heads, and rub the confetti into their hair. Sometimes my brothers would put flour into the eggshells so that when they broke them on your wet head, the flour would turn into paste. That's how sneaky my brothers were sometimes. Cascarones. Este es el comedor de mis padres. Mi mamá, mis hermanos, mis hermanas y yo estamos alrededor de la mesa decorando cascarones para el domingo de Pascua. Los llenábamos de confetti, el cual hacíamos cortando pedacitos de periódicos y revistas. El domingo de Pascua, después de la iglesia, íbamos a nadar. Después de nadar, comíamos, y después de comer, sacábamos los cascarones. Sin que nos vieran, sorprendíamos a nuestros hermanos o amigos y les quebrábamos los cascarones en sus cabezas, revolviendo el confeti en todo el cabello. Algunas veces, mis hermanos les ponían harina a los cascarones para que, al quebrarse sobre el cabello mojado, la harina se hiciera una pasta. Así eran traviesos mis hermanos en ocasiones. This is one of my favorite paintings. It shows the family sitting together doing an activity that they would um, be able to share in all phases, the creation of them, um, the breaking of them, and then the excitement that that entails. Um, during class, we typically draw this painting. Um, one classmate, so you work in pairs, one classmate can see it and they describe it in Spanish to the drawer um, and then you flip roles and do another painting. We also do, we also make the cascarones, so we were going to do that this year, but we'll definitely have to do that 
together um, next year in Spanish for. Okay, the next painting is called Ventosa, earache treatment. This one is oil on canvas. It was done in 1989 and it's housed in the Smithsonian collection in Washington, DC. I remember watching my mother and father go out to the porch with a bucket of water. My mother took a sheet of newspaper, rolled it up into a cone shape and placed it on my father's ear. She kept telling us to stay back. She very briefly ignited the paper, then threw it into the water to extinguish it. I was amazed. You see, my father would sometimes get water trapped in his outer ear whenever he went swimming because of an injury when he was in the Navy during World War II. This treatment called ventosa would create a vacuum and evaporate the water. And ahora en español, ventosa. Recuerdo ver a mi mamá y a mi papá salir al porche de la casa con una cubeta de agua. Mi mamá tomaba una hoja de periódico, la enrollaba en forma de cono y ponía en la punta del oído de mi papá. Nos repetía que no nos acercáramos. Rápidamente le prendía el fuego al papel y luego la, lo tiraba en el agua para apagarlo. Yo me quedaba sorprendida. Resulta que mi papá algunas veces se le quedaba agua atrapada en la parte exterior de su oído cuando iba a nadar. Debido a una herida que tuvo cuando estaba en la marina durante la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Este tratamiento, llamado ventosa, creaba un vacío y evaporaba el agua. Muy interesante, ¿no? And the last painting that we're going to hear about is called Una Tarde, One Afternoon. Here we go. This is my grandmother Elisa's house. I was 10 or 11 and my friend was a couple of years older. She always wanted to visit my grandmother and one day I figured out why. It was because she had a crush on a boy that lived nearby. This was their chance to visit with each other. Of course it was okay with my grandmother. She was there chaperoning, overseeing everything. My grandmother is crocheting. She was good at making things just like my mother. She used to let me braid the fringe on the bedspread. I'd be braiding and braiding, but I would have to unbraid everything when it was time to go. Una tarde. Esta es la casa de mi abuela Elisa. Tenía yo diez o once años y mi amiga tenía un par de años más. Ella siempre quería visitar a mi abuela y un día averi averigué por qué. Era porque a ella le gustaba un chico que vivía cerca. Esta era la oportunidad que tenían de verse. Desde luego que a mi abuela no veía nada de malo con esto. Ella estaba allí cuidándolos y vigilándolo todo. Mi abuela está tejiendo. Ella era muy buena para hacer cosas, como mi mamá. Ella me dejaba trenzar los hilos que colgaban de la sobrecama. Yo trenzaba y trenzaba, pero cuando llegaba el tiempo de irme, tenía que destrenzarlo todo. Mira los gatitos. ¿Y cuál de las tres te gustó más? Mi favorita probablemente es Cascarones, pero me gustan todas de las pinturas de Carmen Lomas Garza. Me gustan los colores y me gustan la gente y me gusta la felicidad que sientes cuando ves la pintura. Entonces, mañana, jueves y viernes, ustedes van a hacer un pequeño proyecto de arte. Van a dibujar tu obra favorita de Carmen Lomas Garza y van a colorearlo todo. Van a sacar una foto y lo van a poner en la clase de Google. So over the next couple of days, you guys are going to work on a small art project. You're going to make a sketch, a drawing of your favorite Carmen Lomas Garza painting um, as accurate as you can. And you're going to color it, take a picture of it, and upload it to the classroom. Um, this will be fun for us to be able to see each other's artwork um, and to be able to enjoy the culture um, as well. So our next theme is we're moving into an entirely new theme. Um, theme five is about um, news events, heroic events, um, 
we learn about firefighters, the news, and so it'll be a little bit fitting as we um, go through this time together with the coronavirus in the news. So, hope you have a nice afternoon. Espero que tengan una buena tarde. Les extraño, miss you guys, and hope you're well. Adios.